Forgive us, Father, for we are about to sin and be very naughty boys. I'm going to let you know right now, I'm in a real fucking irritable mood. <laughs> Why? I, it, it's, it's for dumb reasons. It's a little uh, accumulation of a bunch of tiny little things that have just gotten under my skin. That I'm just like, I fucking hate this. This is so dumb. It, it's annoying the shit out of me. How many of those reasons are because of me? None. Okay. Then I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I do care. You know I care. Oh, what you got there, buddy boy? Um, it is a Del Monte uh, fruit cup. <laughs> well, oh, one of those? Yeah, I bought a bunch of them a couple months ago, and I completely forgot about them. So now I just have them down here. So when I get hungry, I snack on them. Yeah, those uh, aren't healthy. I mean, there's only twenty five calories per cup. Okay, how many sugars? Total sugar five grams. And carbs? Carbohydrates seven grams. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Now who's wrong? I mean, but those cups are little. It's like a cup and a half of worth of fruit. But neither here nor there. What's bothering you today, bud? Talk to me. All right. So, I mean, there's a lot there is a lot going on. Um and then on top i mean just the, nor the, the it's normal day stuff and then the tiny little things that um interfere with my life going the way that i it that it goes on a daily basis so like for instance my entire way home i was trying to call jasmine and jasmine was trying to call me but any time that one of us went to go pick up the phone it would show that we picked up the phone and then the phone would immediately drop the call. So then you get that like call or like you disconnected sound. And no matter if I called her or if she called me, that, that would happen. And it just, every time it happened, it just sent me, it just sent me further and further down the, the, the angry worm, wormhole and I'm just sitting there just getting more and more angry at my phone not working the way that I wanted it to. And then I get home, and um, I'm trying to reset my phone. So, like, hey, I'm just going to reset it, uh, just restart it so it'll start working properly. And um, my phone was at 20%. And right as I, I hit restart, my phone restarts and it starts booting back up and it has you do a little passcode and stuff to like turn you know to access it. Yeah. I have the same I type thing. in I type in my code and at the top corner it says zero percent. And then it just turns itself off. And at that point I'm just like I'm the I had a flash of anger that's like, I'm gonna crack this phone over my knee. I don't give a shit. <laughs> and, um, and so then Aaron comes out and starts talking to me and I'm just like there is a there is a, a rage inside of me that's just boiling and about to just erupt out of me and he just starts coming and talking to me and like catching up with me and stuff and he goes hey are you okay and I'm like yeah I'm just about to fucking lose my mind and break the shit out of this phone and he's like he just looks at me and goes Okay, so I'm going to leave you alone. <laughs> oh, buddy. He didn't even give you a hug or nothing? No, because that's not what I would not have, I would not have reacted well to that. Now, what if I so, had given you a hug? I would have told you to fuck off. <laughs> I would have hugged you anyway. <laughs> you would, it would have been the equivalent of if you were trying to hug an angry cat that did not want to be hugged. Brandon, but because you're essentially the size of Lenny from Mice, of Mice and Men, you would have just smothered me to death. I would hug you, and eventually you would stop fighting it. 
<laughs> That's exactly what would have happened. I would have, I would have just, I would have died. <laughs> my anger would have made me implode, and I'm pretty sure I would have given myself a heart attack or an aneurysm. Sorry, buddy. I know those little frustrations can uh, make things seem like, like uh, much bigger than they actually are. Today, I feel you, oh, honestly. Man. I mean, believe me. I mean, it's one of those things that um, it took. Um, this is my second glass of whiskey, and I've only been home for about 20 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, and it, it took a full glass of whiskey before I was able to just, like, kind of now, I'm not saying that's like, oh, Brandon has a drinking problem. He can only calm down and less. It's it's it was a small glass, mind Brandon, you. Brandon, we've made the we've made the alcoholic joke on about you a number of times. I know, and I'm just making sure because I know this is this, I know this is going to make its way into an episode of some sort, and so I'm just <laughs> defending my I'm just defending myself from those who you know. Shit, you know me so I'm, well. I'm, I'm preemptively defending myself. Um, and so my, uh, like, you know how, like, when you get, like, hot coffee or anything, and you just kind of, like, oh, no, 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 no. It's like with soup. You just sit there with soup, and you've got, like, a spoonful, and you just kind of, like, slurp it real slow, and there's something very calming about that. That is what I do with um, with a glass, like, with a little... It's literally less than a shot of whiskey. Yeah, I get this you. one's not this this little pour that I have is not a little. Well, because you know you're going to be less than a shot. You know you're going to be dealing with me for the foreseeable future. So right, exactly. You got to prepare mentally. Yeah, and um, I I've I used to keep a bottle right by me when we were recording, and then I stopped doing that because I was like, I need to actually make sure I stand up to self check myself when i'm going because oh there was God. one time we were well it's because we were recording for like four hours one day and Ooh, um, see what day that was there yeah it was just one day we had recorded for four hours and i had a bottle here right next to me and i'm just like you know you're going on about your story or i'm going on about mine i'm just keeping them keep pouring them and then I go to stand up to like finish and i'm like oh no i am I'm I'm tipsy. Anyways, it was a long ass recording session. Yeah, and I'm gonna do my. That's I'm, over two and a half hours. I'm doing. That's, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do my best not to irritate you today. I mean, I don't believe you for a fucking second. But I, that was it, right there. That was all it was, right there. <laughs> oh, buddy, I love you. I love you so much. I'm so. It's so great that when when we get to just do this and shit. Do this and then shit. Oh, I'm I I got a chamber pot, so I don't even have to get up to do it anymore. Oh, okay. So You're just sitting in your chair, and there's a hole cut out of it. It's essentially an old outhouse. Oh God! No, I actually just I just sit on top of the uh, on top of the chamber pot itself, um, and just let everything out while while we're recording. So there's not even a hole or anything. So there's sometimes where I just get a little little tickle from the the very tippy top top of the summit. Uh huh. And it's it's nice. It's lovely. You just feel yourself teetering off of it. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> God, that's delicious. Hey, guys. If you just can't get enough of Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SR Sleepy Boys. Or you can check out our YouTube channel, Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys. You can also find us on Spotify, Radio Public, Anchor, Breaker Radio, and coming soon, Apple Podcasts.